Mountain Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. Well, we are going to be transported to the middle of summer. What we are going to be expecting by later on this week is triple digit heat, all thanks to a ridge of high pressure that's slowly beginning to build off in the desert southwest. So Las Vegas and some portions of Arizona have their first potential to see the triple digits so far this year, and that ridge is going to slowly make its way into our area by later on today. So these streamlines indicate the upper air pattern. We have that big wave developing. That's that ridge in turn is a big trough developing, bringing in some colder air to portions of Illinois, uh, even Wisconsin as well. But here locally, what's going to happen? That ridge will slowly move on over us, and then that'll bring in high temperatures on Thursday into the 90s. Now it's not going to be record setting and it's not going to be the hottest that we're going to see over the next few days. It's actually going to be on Friday and into the weekend where we have the potential to see the upper 90s nearing the triple digits. That pink shading bad news because that means hot air is going to be in place all day on Friday. Now, as we turn to today, we are still expecting hot conditions. Our average this time of year is 79 degrees. We're going to be about 15 degrees above our average with a forecast high temperature of 94 degrees. Our current record is 94 degrees set back in 1992, so we certainly have the possibility to tie today's record high temperature. But uh, if we get one degree above that, we are going to make a new record for April 28th. Now, taking a look at temperatures right now, we're still feeling those warm conditions already into the 80s across much of the area. 85 degrees and more in 86 degrees in Muleshoe, but still about 81 degrees here in Lubbock and off into the rolling plains uh, into the upper 70s and lower 80s. But if you have the chance to be by some body of water today and over the next few days, you're going to want to do it. Lake Allen Henry, one of those perfect places that you want to spend outside, but inside the water. Also make sure you drink a lot of water as well, because it's going to be hot. And we're going to be seeing mostly sunny conditions over the next few days. Now, if you joined us this morning, we talked about the potential to see maybe a few isolated showers in the forecast, starting to get a better consensus on what is actually going to happen. Looks like it's going to stay out of our area and that isolated chance really going to be about next to nothing, but it is going to be associated with cold front that'll move on through later on tonight. This is around 10, 11 o'clock in the evening as a line of storms pushes through the DFW Metroplex all the way down uh, through portions of Bryan and even Austin and eventually towards Houston as well. And that's that biggest severe weather threat. But that cold front going to supply us with a little bit more cooler air by tomorrow. So severe weather threat has not been updated since this morning. They likely will take out that marginal risk for uh, Cottle and King County, but that best chance for severe weather will be off to the east in portions of Fort Smith, Texarkana, even uh, Sherman in a moderate risk for severe weather. DFW area is in an enhanced risk, so all modes of severe weather will be in play for overnight tonight and then early tomorrow morning. So if you have family out there, be sure to call them. Make sure that they are aware of that severe weather threat because it looks like tornadoes definitely going to be the case as well. But back here locally, going to give us cooler temperatures into the 70s tomorrow, and then we warm up from there. Also going to be dealing with tomorrow an elevated fire weather potential. Today, temperature is into the mid to upper 90s, nearing the triple digits down to our south near the Permian Basin under mostly sunny conditions and a west northwesterly wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be right around average for this time of year as those winds pick up sustained at 15 to 25 miles per hour. And then we'll be watching the upper 80s and then the upper 90s by Friday. Triple digits record setting heat Friday and Saturday, potentially on Sunday if we get a few degrees warmer and the 90s continue all the way through about Monday. One, and we're already now nearing May the, by the end of this week. I don't know. I can't talk that much right now. <laughs> you were like, shocked I by saying Monday, triple you know, like May. <laughs> heat for the beginning of May. I mean, we've seen already the 100 degree temperatures in April, so it's not super shocking, but still, I don't think we're all ready for it yet. Yeah, we're, well, we'll get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kelly, and we'll be right back.